Hey guy, I'm pissed. I have been trying to make this video for like four months now and today I am finally giving up. Let me explain. So it all started in February when the Twitter streets were buzzing about a new Ace Family potential scam. The How I Became a Millionaire program for the low, low price of just $50 a month. And I could not wait to throw my money away on this. When this kind of stuff happens, I don't see a scam. I just see content. Daddy made you your favorite open wide. Now, contrary to popular belief, I don't hate the Ace family. One might assume that because of the scathing video I made about them, but I don't have any beef with like their one-year-old son. The kids haven't done anything bad. It's just this guy I can't stand. Anytime something goes wrong with Mr. and Mrs. Ace, it seems like he is at the forefront of it. Here he is in the introductory video, following all the standard steps involved when promoting a social media course. Number one, make us feel bad about ourselves and then dangle in front of us the possibility of all our dreams coming true. I was living here about five years ago with Catherine, and at the time I was going through depression. Now this is my home, my dream home, through the power of social media. Yep, I used to live in a dinky city stinky small house like you, but now I have a big stupid mansion with just one easy trick. Doctors hate. Number two, toss out some vague buzzwords that show off the valuable information you can only learn here. In this program, I'll be teaching four courses. The first course is how to grow your social media platforms. Well, let me just, I mean. The second course is how to make money from social media. But that's... The third course is how to start a business. And you could... And the last course is how to grow your business. Okay, yes, technically, you could just Google all of that for free, but I'd rather hear it from Austin. And finally, end on a little cliffhanger that makes us yearn to be a part of that exclusive club. I don't know what else to say. I guess the next time I'll see you guys, we'll be inside the program. Wait, come back. I want to be in the program. Is it inside your house? Can I come in? So needless to say, I was pumped. Credit card at the ready, Amex on speed dial for when they inevitably assumed this was a fraudulent charge. I was even going to buy the silver and gold memberships just so I could compare the two. Because yes, with the silver, you do get the basic curriculum and 48 videos a year, one every week. No, that's right. But then you'd be missing out on all the exclusive extras, like bring in other celebrities to hear from, or go on live with everyone. With everyone? I'm picturing a Zoom call with like 700 people all talking over each other. They'll even pick a few people for weekly FaceTime calls. Yeah, I'm sure they kept up with that. Pick a few people to promote. I like how not specific that is. Is it on your YouTube channel, your Facebook? Are you gonna write my username on your arm like one of those hot tub streamers? Pick a few people to verify, ooh. I'm sure they're not gonna like email Twitter and have them give you a blue check mark on there. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna verify my HIBM profile. So everyone knows that I'm the official ace lover for life. What I really love about those last three is that none of them are even guaranteed, but they're still listing them as benefits. That would be like if I said, hey fans, if you mail me a check for $100, I might have lunch with you. I have no obligation to do it because I didn't actually promise that I would, but you should still send me that money just in case. So now you can see why I was so excited to sign up for this. However, I couldn't because I guess I missed the enrollment window. So I had to wait another month and a half. I still don't understand what this business model is. It seems like the whole thing is a money grab but then they're like really selective about who they grab money from. Anyway, I forgot about it for a little bit. A couple months go by, I go to check it and realize, God damn it, I missed it again. It was such a short window, they didn't advertise it at all the second time, and then the timer just resets. The whole thing is so weird, but I was determined not to let this opportunity slip by again, so I checked back every week. I made sure that we were on track. I marked my calendars. I set an alarm. Nothing was gonna stop me from being there the second that timer hit zero, which, by the way, was on Father's Day. Sorry, Dad, I can't have dinner with you this year. I need to sit at my computer so I can sign up for a scam. I made sure that I would be there. I sat and watched as that countdown hit zero, finger hovering over the mouse, and wouldn't you know it, nothing happened. I couldn't join, the text didn't change, it still told me I needed to follow the timer, which was now gone. How am I gonna become a millionaire now? And that's when it hit me. I just got scammed out of getting scammed. 
I was practically on my knees begging for it, and instead of taking my money, all they did was waste my time. And you know, they say time is money, so technically they wasted both. Now, the fact that I couldn't join doesn't mean that the course itself is not a scam. I mean, I would argue that if their website isn't being updated to bring in new members, it probably doesn't bode well for the members they already do have. The Instagram is totally inactive. They've had exactly six posts on there every time I've checked. And that follower number has only been going down, so they're not accepting anyone new. So it's probably safe to assume that they're not keeping up with the $600 a year program that they made. Since I couldn't join the program, the only recent updates I could find were in a video by a YouTuber named Sloan, and he actually had screenshots from some of his subscribers who did sign up for the program. Lots of not so surprising details here, like the information is not even remotely valuable, the videos seem rushed, none of the live streams were ever done on time, which messed up people's schedules because they would make their plans around it. But it gets worse. Not a single active user on here has ever had a FaceTime call. Yeah, I'm sure they kept up with that. Apparently they're given worksheets to fill out while watching the videos, so it's like homework that you have to pay for. But then when they turn it in, they don't get any feedback. So like, what's the point? And even though they're all frustrated with the service they're getting, they're worried about telling the truth and being blacklisted from the app. So they just continue pretending like nothing's wrong. And that's not even mentioning what people found in the user agreement, which includes a million words of legal jargon that essentially boils down to, we own any content that you post. We can reuse it however we want, we can monetize it however we want, and there's nothing you can do to stop us. Even if we just take a video idea and do it ourselves, or steal your merch concept because we like it for our brand, that's fair game, dude. And it makes me sad that even with all of that bullshit, the fans still want to forgive them. And that's what's gotta be the most fucked up part of all this is that you are specifically targeting your biggest fans. You're taking advantage of the people who trust you the most. How ironic that his own advice to you is to engage with your audience. Nurture them on every platform. Shouldn't you start by nurturing your own audience? Or are they not paying you enough for that? This isn't even the first time they're doing this exact scam. They already tried to do this a couple years ago with the Ace Club and then took none of the blame when it crashed and burned. The people that we partnered with in that adventure, they just weren't good partners. Um, they end up unfortunately scamming us. Sorry guys, those idiot web developers screwed us over. Or I guess what I mean is- You guys got scammed? Okay. So maybe don't do it again then. Did they think if they just made it really hard to join? You only have 24 hours. Then people wouldn't find out how bad it is because people like me couldn't go and make a video about it? Or, and hear me out, do they just suck? I think it's that one. I'm actually surprised that this many people had enough faith left in Austin to want to sign up for this in the first place. I get it though, you're a fan. You want to give them a chance to grow. You want to trust them. I used to trust people too, but Sometimes things happen that change the way you look at the world, that harden you as a person. It was 2006, runescape.com. My friend on the game comes up to me and says, hey, would you like one million gold coins? And I was like, uh, yes please. How did he know that's exactly what I wanted? What a nice guy. All you have to do is give me your password. And obviously I had to think about it for a little bit. Can I really trust this guy? Maybe he's trying to take advantage of me. Here you go. Great, now in order for this to work, you just have to log out and log back in and the money will be in your bank. Yeah, of course, that makes sense. Be right back. So I log out, alarm bells still not going off. Give it a couple minutes, try to log back in, and I can't because someone else is on the account. And now it's starting to hit me that maybe this offer of one million dollars in exchange for nothing was a little too good to be true. So I keep trying to log back in over and over and over again, and the more time that passes, the more freaked out I start to get. And finally, after about five minutes of crying and pissing all over myself, I was able to log back in and I had been wiped clean. All of my coins and armor and everything I had worked so hard for in the game was gone. I was devastated. But I learned a valuable lesson that day that you can't just go around trusting random people. I had a pretty sheltered childhood, so this was kind of a shock to me. So I swore to myself that this would never happen again, that I would never fall for another scam, and I was doing pretty damn good. 
Until I bought this fucking thing. Yeah, I'm talking about my moon pot again. The lumpy sack of beads that pretends to be 25% off even though it's always this price. What, this time it's for Father's Day? My dad would disown me if I bought him this thing. Plus I'm already on thin ice because I had to cancel our dinner plan. They have the audacity to describe it as the anti-anxiety chair. Wow, I can just feel my anxiety melting away. Guess I don't need my therapist anymore. Unlike traditional beanbags, Moon Pod belongs in the trash. And you know, I had moved on from this. I was ready to get on with my life. And then they sent me an email asking me to review it. So I did. I shared my honest thoughts. I went ahead and submitted it. Even got a little confetti. But then I couldn't help but notice that my review wasn't on the website. Interesting. Seems like you have hundreds of positive reviews, but only five negative ones? Nope, those are all positive too. Well, maybe I just need to try submitting another review. Cool. And where is that one? Still not there, huh? Weird how they let this guy post two positive reviews back to back, but I can't even post one. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. Am I being too mean? Here, let me tone it down a bit. Mm, that's the sound of me kissing your ass. Oh my God, they fucking posted it. They post, of course they posted that one. I can't believe that actually worked. Serious question, is it illegal to hide reviews like this? to just delete bad reviews off your website. Because I couldn't get a straight answer when I looked it up, but I did get two more ads for the Moon Pod on an article about it. And if this screenshot doesn't belong in a museum, then what even is art? Since they don't seem to want anybody to find out how shitty their stupid beanbag chair is, could you guys do me a favor? If you see one of their sponsored posts out in the wild, and you probably will, could you maybe just comment something a little bit more accurate on it? Be as creative as you want, and don't worry about being too harsh, because they're probably just gonna fucking delete it anyway. Sorry for the rant. It's just that thinking about moon thought makes me angry. I need to smash something. <gasps> Cell phone. <gasps> Goodbye, old friend. It didn't even break? Hi. Life can be pretty frustrating sometimes, but you shouldn't demolish your phone just because you're mad. And with the Rhino Shield phone case, it's gonna be pretty damn hard to. Sponsored by Rhino Shield. For real though, this is literally the toughest phone case I've ever used, and it's also not a giant bulky mess like some of the other super protective ones. Which is nice because you still want your phone to look cool while you're launching it towards the floor. These things are super customizable. They have collections with the NBA, for example, which is great if you're a Magic fan like me, or a Lakers fan, like everybody else. But they also have collaborations with NASA, League of Legends, not to mention hundreds of cool original designs as well. If there's a certain backplate you really like, you could then customize the color of the side protector so you have a ton of options to choose from. You can even design your own and then customize a case for your AirPods to match. That way, people know they're yours. For the ultimate protection, you can do what I did and combine one of their cases with their 3D impact screen protector and now you're ready to take on the world and drop your phone all over it. Click the link in the description to check them out for yourself. And for the next week, you can use promo code DREW for 20% off your order. After that, you can still use it for 10% off. And there's no shame in that. So don't let anyone tell you that there is. Again, that's link in description, code on the screen, case on your phone, phone on the ground. Thank you to Rhino Shield for sponsoring today's video instead of tossing me off a cliff. Sorry for losing my temper like that. You guys know, that I never get mad about anything on this channel, so it was probably a little jarring to see me get so upset. Won't happen again, I promise. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to stare intensely at that like button and subscribe if you hate me. I'll see you tomorrow for a really funny video where I storm back into that salon and demand that they put that hair back on my head. Bye. Now this is my home.